38. Johnny's reign last year was ended in this round by Martin Schindler. 98. Well, Johnny's best of semi final back in 2020. It's been a struggle, hasn't it, for Clayton in the main? 39. Johnny required 40. recently. Yeah, he has. He, he's a, he'll admit that as well. He's had some new darts and he's just going to stick with him. He's been chopping and changing a bit too much, but he's going to go with 20. him. 20. Dimitri requires 151. Good chance he'll return. Uh, the new darts conundrum. 95. Johnny Blighted required Blighted many 20. a player down the years. You don't like these sort of legs, no let you slip score. it back. It's only early in the match for Vandenberg to strike an early blow. It's been gifted to him as well. Five missed outs of doubles for Johnny. Game gift. on the second leg. Absolute gift for Vandenberg. Third left seven. Ninety-seven. Big last Johnny start. require one hundred and one. May have to go this. Double twelve. Eighty-nine. Dimitri requires this for 70. a double break on a four-nil lead. Clayton's had opportunities at six starts at doubles. He's already hit this double sixteen in the match. Dimitri Vandenberg in the first leg of the match. Thirty-eight. Can't hit it there. Johnny Chance for Johnny to well. get a foothold in the tie. Six. Incredible. No out of nine. No doubts will start creeping in about those darts again, you know. It was a hurtful smile. It'll be hurting even more. If Vandenberg can find the target. Games on the fourth leg. Dimitri Vandenberg. Last start in hand. 4 0. All sorts fifth of bother now Dimitri for Clayton. First. Finding the form that has taken them into the world's top ten or thereabouts. Well, let's have it right. They'd like that distraction, wouldn't they? But it's not there, so it gives them a chance to focus. Bit of a slipper there. The last start from Johnny. His hand is slipped into a two. Ninety-seven. Johnny requires ninety-nine. Just checking to see what Vandenberg was on, so he did go for tops, tops. Games on the fifth leg. We'll get figure. Johnny Clayton. He nine darts and double. He was in all sorts of bother, and then he does that. A break through before the 48. break. Is it going to be undone here? He's going to need some errors from Dimitri Vandenberg. And he gets Dimitri. some errors, so chance for Johnny, Johnny to hold here. Might see this combination end on double 19. First yeah, down no phase, did it? Dimitri requires 16. The 5 1. To be halfway to the quarters. Game shot the sixth leg. There it is. Dimitri Vandenberg. Seventh leg, Dimitri the third first. Game on. Well, a difficult time for him over the last 12 months, but we know what a what a good player he is. One there you go. Thank you. Players have dropped off in form, and it's not been the best of six months for Johnny. He's got to keep going and just keep backing himself. Uh, his 
small signs of improvement on the Pro Tour. A couple Johnny of games Maguire, here. 155. It's going to be difficult to turn this one around, but he'll keep chipping away. What an opportunity here for Johnny. And he, uh, he fires himself up, a 1-5-5, just a holder throw, but it's the first time he's held his throw in the match. And maybe that will be the catalyst for him to get back in this match. Something. Nine a spark to, to light the, the flame. Acknowledged by his opponent. And Johnny's wrestled the darts away. 177. Well, that 180. A fabulous 155 checkout. 100. Johnny Just giving him the belief. 62. If he can somehow go in at the second break at only 6 4. Amazing achievement. Game it's all starting to go right for Johnny, Johnny Clayton. Clayton. 12 data followed by 11 data. Dimitri requires 161. Johnny, he's thrown 12 darts and he's still on 262. Both his previous legs were done by the time he'd thrown 12 darts. Absolutely. Looking like Vandenberg is going to get that four leg 100. cushion back. Dimitri requires 68. He hasn't left a finish. No pressure on this 68 for Dimitri. I don't think he intended that, but it's a brilliant market. Game and he uses it, and for all the good work Johnny Dimitri Clayton put Vandenberg. in in grabbing those couple of legs, Dimitri Vandenberg has a four-leg cushion. He's three legs away from the quarterfinals. He leads 7-3. Johnny looks like he's going to grab a leg. Thirty. That's what you can't afford to do with the last start, particularly when... His opponent's not on a finish. Still going to come back with three darts at double five, but it could get awkward this leg for Johnny still. 58. Johnny required 10. Games on the 11th leg. Johnny Clayton. Dimitri just dropping off a bit, as far as the scoring is concerned. 100. Johnny Clayton, ton pluses higher than Dimitri, ton 40 plus higher, 180s more than Dimitri. 100. It's the finishing Johnny that's got Dimitri to score on. Johnny can tidy that up, he's not out with this match yet. Double seven. Game and he gets the double the seven, he's had a 1-5-5, now that's Johnny a 1-2-2, two, two. he's back within two again of Dimitri Vandenberg. 30. Two in favour of Dimitri. One hundred. That's why I never have the skill or a temperament to be a, to be a darts player, Mark. That little fist pump at the end of the combination when you, you hit a treble with the lamp, like that, 80. that would drive me mad. As an opponent, that would drive me crackers. It would, it would have the desired effect. Clayton tidies up beautifully. Johnny Clayton. He's back within one. We're back on throw. Johnny to third first. And Johnny Clayton. 25, Dimitri major go aggressive, treble 17 here, Dimitri. Fifty-one. Johnny require one hundred and six. I thought he might have stayed. Just a just a chance. Needing one 56. treble with the first two dart. Dimitri require forty. And he's fifty percent on the doubles, Dimitri. Been pretty efficient on the outer ring. Tops can cause him problems, but he has hit it in the match. Edging closer. Game and he gets it and listens to the roar. Dimitri There's relief in that roar. And will that deflate Johnny? Who battled and battled, but Vandenberg now throws for a place in the quarterfinals.
He gives it a go, but 4 0 down. It's a long way back, isn't it? 97. Yeah, possibly just gave himself too much to do. The opening session possibly did the damage. Dimitri. 40. Got himself. Dimitri four, one Maguire, in front. 107. Then went on to lead 6 1. And it's been a constant battle for Johnny. And there it is, a 107 finish, and he fought off the fight back from Johnny Clayton. Dave Chisnell beat Nick Kenny and Mensal Suljevic to reach this stage. And Lutman has beaten Gary Anderson, the former champion from 2018 has been eliminated from this year's competition. Yeah, we'll try and get hold of the stats, but the finishing from Lutman yeah, is incredible, as was, was that Dave from Dave Chisnell. A 12 dart break first. of throwing leg one with a 1-2-2 yeah, finish on the ball. What a great oh, up against the Dutch youngster, Kian van Veen. Oh, 105. Chisnell can do is try and, oh dear, I was about to say, is try and force a, a mistake out of Luke Littler, but. Eight. Oh, Luke Uruguay, 65. Very good in the end. 65 for 3 2. Yeah, it's on the Two leg. darts required, 14 dart leg. So they leave the stage with Chisnell a break to the good. Well, that leaves 50. That leaves tops. 84. He's missed one. Baby requires he's two out 74. of two on his doubles. And that one goes begging. So Dave Chisnell, opportunity to hold his throw after all. 74 needed. Just checking if that's in the treble. It's not, so he needs 20 for tops. I wonder he needed to ask. I thought it was in. 34. Who can require 20? Just checking. One or two of the yeah, players have a Sigma. break back then Luke for Littler. Luke Littler. One or two of the players Somebody don't have Luke the greatest the distance yeah. vision. Maybe Dave Chisnell, one of them. Nights they've had so far. Oh, 105. Right, 138 for a hold with Littler poised on 65. Needs another. Another one would have been double 12, and he wasn't impressed with that. Seventy eight. They're going to go sixty five. Sixty five. Ten would leave tops. Four. Oh, he's missed one again. They do require 60. Chizzy supporters trying to rev up the man. They want to see him get back onto level terms. And double 20 would do precisely that. Should be a good guide. Oh, he's overcooked it coming down. Luke, you require 20. Double ten. So, as you watch on, you'll be able to sit at home and make your own comparisons. Second maximum for Littler. Yeah, Luke Humphries will be facing Murrov King in a match to follow. And then we finish off with Stephen Bunting against Peter Wright. Luke Littler, 24. Okay, Missed out on the World Championships for the first time in 27 years, I think I'm right in saying. And I think that hurt. So a run deep here yeah, will make him feel very much better. And yet again, a leg. Ooh, That's fabulous, Stokes. 
David Aguirre, 144. Well, 144, Chisnell. 351 points of the leg completed in six darts for... 44. <laughs> Down to 94, 94 after nine. Tops. Double ten. Yeah. 12 dart leg. leg. Luke Little. And Chisnell can do precious first. little about yeah. it. Littler now leading 9-5. Promise not to speak from now. Well, now I can, because it just dragged low. Great effort, though, from Chisnell. Well, I wouldn't have put it past Littler there, that Chisnell has left. Tops Eight after nine, five. possible Ooh. ten dart leg incoming. Well, this is for a break of throw. He's got to finish this off. No, oh dear. Well, this, is for the, this is for the match, and he should get at least a dart at the ball jump. 88 he wants. Double 14. Just wide. Game shot. And in it and goes, 15 dart leg, and sporting applause from Dave Chisnell because he knows just how well Luke Littler has played. Start well and strongly, you feel. Well, he's playing a player in supreme well, form, supreme confidence, focused on every tournament he plays in. He gets the first max. Eighty-seven. Luke, you require forty. So, to take the opener Games against the dart. Thirteen darts up. Two Luke world championships. If you're, if you're average, do you? No. Tops for three nil. Ninety-six. Yeah, but good to see him. Still call him young Adrian. You call everybody young, don't you? <laughs> Apart from you. <laughs> 75. Luke, you require 20. Well, he's really got his teeth into this, has he? And I said about his starts Game in the other matches, he's not day. really done that in this one. Luke OK, Luke Humphries has been playing pretty well. Talked about the finals and everything else he's been in over the years. It's getting older. The, there's so many young players coming to the game, it's getting harder. But what he does is... He, Always gives his practice in. He practices it. One of the biggest practices yeah. in the game. Pause three. But just not happening Luke here. Did have to stay in the morning. Was here the other day. Yep. Before the milkman. Game shot the fifth leg. Luke Humphrey. Well, he'd be drinking a pint or two of milk. Well, it was a, a rather resigned look from Mervyn King there. It was, it's so easy 96. to just let that concentration drift because you know, basically, you know you're going to win, and he is going to win. When you look at the two biggest 80. names in darts over the previous years, Michael Van Gerwen and Phil Taylor, they were ruthless yeah. in whatever they were playing. If they were 9 0 up playing the best mate, they wanted to win 10 0. Yeah. And he'll want to win this 10 0. Luke, you require 16. This is for seven. Oh, oh. a chance for Merv. He's missed four darts and a double. 40. Well, that is astonishing. Games on the seventh play. Merlin King. <laughs> you can see the funny side. Well done, Merv. It's your game, isn't it? On throw, the world champ has had 15 darts and is still on 2 3 2. 117. Merv lays himself 45. 140. Maybe, Maybe too late. 45. I thought Game that was in for a second. Play. That one definitely Game is. King.
137. Brilliant last guard. Yeah, it's important for him to just to, despite the 6-3 lead, take this one, go into the break, 7-3, and then just readjust 60. his focus, his thought process, and then come out firing to get over the line. We well, got there in the end after losing three consecutive legs. You can see a, a bit of anger there from Luke Comfrey. Wow! The full house. A third match to put some pressure on King. One dart for Merv. 36. Luke, you require 54. Oh, some distance off there. It's not really a, one of his favourites, double top is, but he was kind of forced into that Game finish there. The Luke Humphries didn't make the Luke mistake. Interesting as well, just, just as a little aside, that the two games that are going on 100. at the moment are going to have a huge impact on the draw because whoever wins first out of Luke Humphries, who you think will win, and Rob Cross, who possibly will again. 97. Will be number six Luke in the draw. 121. Whoever wins second will be number seven in the draw. Well, Humphrey's had a shot at 120 57. to win it in Luke the last leg. 119. 119. Lose the ball. Game Brilliant. Seven. What a way to win. A 1-1-9 on Humphreys. the ball for Luke Humphreys. Another excellent performance. Here, putting the right and the right throw under pressure here in this second leg. Good oh, dive. Not. Just to illustrate how dominant Stephen Bunting was when he beat Peter Wright in the Masters. He averaged around about 17 points more than his opponent. It was so comfortable. Oh, there has been fun. improvements though for Peter. You mentioned John, the two runs in the semi finals on the Pro Tour. And even though he's pointless in the Premier League, there's been a couple of decent performances. Bullseye needed. Good. Bullseye achieved. 164. How about that? 2 0. But like Stephen is reversed. Yeah. A statement start from Stephen Bunting. Because you can waste a lot of darts by doing that. Well, he's going to be on a finish here. That's in. That is in. He needs the ball, maybe. Oh, he got it. He has. What a dart. What a setup. And Stephen Bunting will be delighted with the opening five legs. As we expect, he converts his 32 and will leave 4 1. Some start from Bunting. This for a 13 dart leg, 32 required, yes. and 13 Steven darts needed, 32 delivered, and he goes to the interval after the best of starts. Peter Wright with an opportunity of a break. They need a couple of trebles. He's not going to get the couple of trebles or bunt in to just keep maintaining that Six. break of throw. In his favour, he won the ball as well. 56. It's a big advantage. 56 then. Tops. Double 10. Well, another chance for Wright. He's got to take these. He's blinked for the first time, Stephen. Peter Wright yet to miss a dart at a double. And he's got two in his hand if he needs them here. He does. Yeah, and gets it. Seven, uh, Two out of three out of four on his doubles, Peter, Peter Wright. And now 4 hey. 3, and that is the break back he wanted. In the mix, isn't he? And he's, we've seen Six. signs of that in Six. recent Three weeks. It's been glimmers of the old Peter Wright. Or the Peter Wright of old, I should say. 56. This leg, and the big score here could still go the way of Peter Wright. I believe a decent setup. One hole. He's going to be looking for Shanghai on twenties when he comes back, if he comes back. Bunting now, one one four, starting on twenties. 
treble 18 he needs. Gets it for tops. Big dart this for Bunting. Yeah. And he's got it. That was an important one, and you saw the reaction. Bunting back ahead. 5 4. Treble 13. 18 now. So an opportunity for Bunting to break through. 124. How does he go? Well, one dart, the ball he'll expect minimum. The way he's playing, he'd be disappointed if he doesn't at least get that poke at the ball. Start on the treble 20. He gets it. So over to treble 14. Bullseye for the 6 4 lead. Nice. Not quite. Great effort. He couldn't quite believe it didn't go in. And now back with Peter Wright. Tops. Should be a decent marker. Oh, too much of a compensation. Double ten. Third. Oh dear. That could hurt. Bunting might be about to go into a lead by two legs. 25 needed. Double eight. And, and he does. Six Bunting. out of 12 on his doubles. I think a little break from the darts hasn't done him any harm. Bunting on a ton, on throw, but Wright wants to get enough here to make him feel as though he's got to take it. Just indicating to the referee that he's had a bit Warner. of a brain freeze there. Senior Maguire. Peter's had a brain freeze, not the referee, I hasten to add. Bunting's had a couple of ton plus finishes already. A 164, 114. Options here. Went the top stops. That's wild. There seems to be a lot of the treble 20 bed to aim for. Will it be all right? Well, it would help if he gets this. 20 leaves tops. Now, how good's his doubling? Yeah, it's good enough. Peter. And that's a break of throw to make amends for the damage inflicted on him just before the interval, and it's now 5-6, Bunting leading right with the darts. He takes out 78 for the second time in the match, Peter Wright, a different route, but a key moment, and a tip your hat to Peter Wright. And he worked so hard to get level, Peter Wright, and he's offered Stephen Bunting the luxury of six darts at 1-6-1. They go down. Oh, I like that dart. Sensible. A sensible dart. Yes, he, he couldn't have left a double off it, but it gets him to a single to double combination. You go for treble 19, you miss. You, you mainly get one dart a double. Stephen Uri 56. Shouldn't be Timbers. Right, Bunting. Right's not on the finish, goodness me. Yeah, that's Bunting. a disaster for Peter Wright. Tops now. Yeah, and he gets it for 8 6. And it's becoming a very hard match Steven for Snake Bite to win now. Okay. 85. To stay in. 16. He's having a glance over at Stephen's score. Bullseye for the hold. And this is for the match for Stephen Bunting. 19 to normal route. Treble, single, bull. That would make 126. This is for the match and a place in the last eight for Stephen Bunting. Wright just has to hope. Well, there's the single, needs the treble now, and he's got it. So, bull for the match. No. And in all honesty, it wasn't terribly close. Went to drag it low. Peter Wright's hopes hang in the balance. Needs this double ten. Yeah, and he's still fighting Peter Wright. Peter Wright. He'll still believe he can turn this around. But it's Bunting's yeah. chance now to throw for the last spot in tomorrow's quarterfinals. Wright may get six at this. Well, it's not happening this time, just looking where he's at. 
may go bull to leave himself on tops and he's missed it now bunting this is for the match 141 can he take it out here treble 20 treble 19 double 12. he's had a match out already he's not going to get one off the end of this combination he missed bull in the previous leg peter right courtesy of that loose last start still got a bit to do here to keep the match alive Needs treble 18. That leaves double seven to keep this going. Yeah. Great darts. Well played, Peter. Peter. He is really digging Peter in. And the Scottish fans urging him on. And now Peter Wright with the darts has the throw to take it to a deciding leg. And the way it before. Can Peter Wright do likewise? Not with that. So it's going to be an opportunity for Bunting to win the match. Needs 167. He's had a 164 and a 114. Now this for a place in the last eight. Trickier than the 164. This is going to need different trebles. He went for a couple of treble 19s on the 164. So Peter Wright to send us to a deciding leg. 60 needed. Two darts in hand, tops required. Is this the one? Yeah. There it is. And so, nine all. It goes to the decider. Bunting, six darts from 132. Well, Bunting doesn't have to start on the ball now. And Peter Wright just glanced up at the score. Straight turn, 92. Yeah, brilliant second dart. He's just going to lay this up. And Peter Wright with that slip. There's nothing he can do about it. He's just got to apply some pressure and hope for a wobble from Stephen Bunting. What a time to have a little stumble, as Peter Wright did. Now he's got to hope that Stephen Bunting does likewise. It's a decent visit, but all he can do now is hope that Stephen Bunting doesn't finish the match here. The crowd are willing it, and Bunting gets it! What a terrific match. Play